All right, time to sit down and watch my favorite Smash Bros. draft. Where is it? Hold on. Hey, Mitchell, it's, it's me. Where the hell is it? What? What do you mean? We paid for the green screen. I look like Steve Jobs back when he was alive. Yeah, I was wearing the turtleneck. I had the glasses. What do you mean they got rid of it? Okay, I know I should have gone with that heartburn guy, but you know, he was busy. I already asked him for a favor this week. I spent way too much of my free time making this, and you're telling me that I have to figure it out? Do you know how much money I spent on this? Way too much. I'm Mitchell. That's what you sound like. You know what? I'll do it myself. All right. Bye. Uh, I'll see you at work tomorrow. No, I've young up. All right. So once again, let down. I have to take my time off in order to do stuff that nobody else wants to do, apparently. I'm looking at you, green screen company that I made up on the spot. So this, here's the situation. That Smash Bros. draft is happening just around the corner. Nobody knows when they're picking it. And when I say just around the corner, I mean like minutes from now. I genuinely don't know how long this video is going to last, so it's going to be after this video. So let me tell you. Fantasy Super Smash Bros. 2021. The inaugural season, he says, without the cool an like graphics. It would have been like real big and sparkly, but no. There is 10 teams. Once again, I have to condense myself, get in front of the camera, Con God, me and Mitchell are going to have a fight at work tomorrow, maybe, if if he still works there, or if I still work there. Who knows? So, every week, each team is going to have a three-on-three -three matchup with the some other team. How these teams are decided? I randomly went through the schedule, and then I went, hey, you know what's going to be funny? These last two weeks, we're going to make it in, like, whatever would be a funny combination of people fighting. There is... 12 weeks, three months of my life is going to be devoted to this now because Mitchell and that production company just pooped the bed. And when I say pooped, I mean pooped. So the three-on-three -three matchups are going to consist of five stock for each member of their lot, uh, team. And then there is going to be no items. Every stage is on random. And here's the scoring guide right up there. All right, cool. I got to do something now because I have to edit it myself. Boy, it looks great. Top quality. Sure. So we have KOs. So every time you kill someone, that's a point. We like that. We have falls. If you fall or you lose life, there's no negative to that. We're not going to do that. However, if you get a self-destruct, that's down a point. That's not cool. There's also, before I forget, no team kills, at least for the first 10 weeks. We'll see if I want to change up the rules for the last two. So the most damage given, you get an extra bonus point for that because we like that. We're big fans of that damage point. The lowest max launcher speed. If you can't throw someone hard, go home. You're going to lose a point if you have the slowest speed each week or each match even. And then the final smash balls, which they are going to be... The final smash meter is going to be used in the 3VT3. You Every final smash you use, you get an additional point, and it has to be used successfully. So if Captain Falcon's going to swing his car around and he whiffs on the ice climbers, guess what? No point. But if you see what's-his-face, Lucario just shooting a laser beam and he hits Marth, he's, and Marth dies, that's a count. That's a point. And that death of this fake smash ball is going to consist and be important because there's more than just that 3v3 matchups. That's five matchups. I'm sure that's not enough Smash Bros for people. 
And plus, everybody's not involved in that. The motto is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone is here. Once again, with the green screen, that would have been right up here. Everyone is here. But no. So here's the scoring for the tournament, which the tournament is a 10-person tournament. The spots are randomly signed on the day of, and they are going to consist of three stocks, a little less lives. It's going to be a lot more intense, too. There is going to be Smash Balls. There's going to be Fake Smash Balls. There's going to be Poke Balls, Master Balls. There's going to be Timers. There's going to be Metal Boxes, Sticky Bombs, Back Shields, Bees, even Chickens and ba bombs. Now, once again, with the green screen, ah, oh, that would have been over there. Ah, oh, the chicken would have been over there. I would have had the Pokeball in my hand. But no, can't do that because we got screwed. And then all the CPOs, it's CPOs. Great, we'd have had to edit this out if we had the company. All the CPUs will do, will be on level 9. No one will actually be playing. But just like real like fantasy football and other fantasy sports, we are going to be playing it simulated. So we have no impact on the actual game. So the tournament, going back to that. What the hell was that? Mitchell. So the tournament is going to be the 10 person tournament. It is going to be always on the, what is it? Layout D, which looks like this. Oh wait, we don't have the graphics anymore. And then they're randomized. Some people will get a first round by one week. Can't guarantee they'll get it the next week. Some people might have to fight all 12 weeks, but the scoring is all the bonuses. You can still win for the week without your character winning the tournament. So, tournament placement. So, the death to the fake smash ball. That's also going to be minus one point. It's such a silly thing. You just have to rotate it, and then you know which way is the right way. But no. So, if you lose in the first round, and you're the first ra out in the match, because some are going to consist of uh, three if you lose in that first round, you're going to get half a point. If your character makes it to the second death, so there's a little bit of little bit of leniency, you will get an entire point. So that could be that's a bonus point that can make up for when you self-destruct in the previous round. If you make it to the final round, so that is going to be a four-person fight for the final round. You're the first one out, that's one and a half points, you're already making a little bit of profit. If you're the second one out, second death, that's two points. If you run, if you are the runner-up, that is three points. If you win the tournament, that is four points. You can get slaughtered in that 3v3, but if you win that tournament, you might have a chance, depending on how bad that slaughter is. All right. Now, all the stuff that we spent money on, I guess we don't have to, the ability to do anymore. So, uh, let's see here. There was supposed to be the CastPod games graphic and then like an explosion sound and it becomes a fiery ball and the Super Smash Bros. logo up here. So let's, let's see what I got. CastPod presents. We also had like James Earl Jones do this out of all people. That was awesome. It's CastPod games presents. <laughs> Flame sounds. Fantasy Spooper Smash Bros. Ultimate. 2021. The October is part of the announce in the original one. But, you know, gotta make what I do. Alright. So, we have here an entire side of the screen that's unable to be seen. So, for these teams, all 10 people were randomly put on a randomizer website. And then they are now, um, what's it called? They're randomly, randomly assigned. And I'm going to say randomly one more time for fun. Randomly. So, everyone was randomized. Nobody has an advantage. I just put the list in, hit the random, and then the website went, it's 1 a.m. Why are you randomizing list? And I said, not now. So, also, each team will get four members. So, Remember that for your draft picks. The, it is going to be like a traditional fantasy draft style where you pick 
like number one picks, number two picks, all the way through number 10. Second round, number 10 picks. So number 10 is the last pick of that first round and the first pick of the second round. And then it goes 10, 9, 8. So numbers 1 and 10, they're waiting 20 picks most of the time throughout that roster. So number 1, 2, 3, they can pick whoever they want pretty much guaranteed. However, that's only their first pick. Their second pick, they're going to have to wait a little bit. Teams will have to have their submissions on where their characters are going to be, whether they're on the bench, whether they're on the like tournament, whether they're on the 3v3. They have to be submitted by seven p or sorry, 12 noon on Thursdays. That is so we can make sure everything runs smoothly for when the video when we record on twitch.tv slash um, for that following night's tournament, which will probably be a late o'clock tournament, and then we'll probably post it on CastPod Games. Ha! Just kidding. Ha! Once again, we could fix that with editing, but no. Mitchell screwed it up. Damn it, Mitchell. So, every week, each team is going to have four players playing. Those other three, they're going to sit on the bench. We're still going to count up points in a silly, unstreamed, unrecorded fashion, probably where it's going to be just kind of random fights just for fun, just to see where the, ben the bench people are and then where the, um, the free agents, those, those of you who are not drafted, are. Also, you can trade players on your team. So if one of the coaches is like, ah, oh, you know who I want? I want Ganondorf. And it's like, ah, oh, that's a good get. But somebody already drafted Ganondorf, and they had someone also cool like Luigi, and they are able to trade, but both players have to make it known that they want to trade these people. Am I vamping a little bit just to buy time because I might be coming home from work right now? Absolutely. Is this pre-recorded? Absolutely. Is there going to be a Super Smash Bros. announcement later today on who the last character in the DLC is? Yes. Do we currently know who it is at the time of the recording? No. Will they be draftable? Yes. I just think it's funny that's how it turned out. Um, if you're care, you can be specific and picking what kind of character, like coloration, you want. If you want old school looking Wario with the uh, yellow and purple, go ahead. If you want shiny Incineroar, go ahead. But however, if a character has like different characterizations, like for example, um, we have like boy Corrin and girl Corrin. That's just one Corrin. So if someone drafts Corrin, that's it. You can't be like, oh, I want boy corn instead of girl corn if you want to pick someone like pokemon trainer that's ivysaur venusaur squirtle you can't just be like oh i want not ivysaur venusaur <laughs> i forgot charizard because he's forgettable <laughs> looking at you tom so you can be like all right i want just ivysaur can't do that because i'm not a wizard or a hacker however if someone does drop someone say let's say someone drafts that um Corin, and you want to use it like a different like and they drop them because they just don't like them or they're ruining the season for them and you pick up and they drafted girl corn and when you pick and you want to pick corn off the free agents list you have the option to pick boy corn or a different colorization or different skin whatever you want although if you don't pick shirtless shulk you're doing it wrong so that all can be done and all that has to be like established if you want to drop someone if you want to pick someone up by noon on Thursdays. That's the key. I will post in the Discord chat with all the coaches. If someone gets dropped and it's not mentioned in there or picked up, if it's not already mentioned there, I'll make sure it gets mentioned in there so people get an accurate list. There's also a Google Spreadsheets list that I'll be keeping meticulously up to date because I have no life. Except I was supposed to, but now I have to do this because Mitchell can't be trusted. All right. Now I bet you're all waiting for the actual results of the um, what's it called the dr random drafting. So we're gonna start with number ten. Number ten is going to be the president himself, President Kenny Mac. That is going to be a rough spot. I'd hate to be that guy, but it's going to be just 
he's got two picks back to back, but he's got twenty like he's gotta wait nine picks and then he's gotta wait like eighteen picks before he can pick again. So he's got a lot of waiting to do for this draft. I hope he really plays it smart. The number eight C or number nine pick is going to be Danny. Newest guy in the league. Uh wasn't really originally expecting to have him, but you know, I heard he has an excellent podcast. Also, great priest. Highly recommend him. But he's going to have a little bit of waiting to do, too. Number eight is me. Why did I get the number eight spot? If I'm putting this together, why can't we rig it in my favor? What do you mean, what do I mean? It's not fair that way. Do you not know how this thing works? We rig it together. We put on a couple of matches where I lose. We put on a couple of matches where I shouldn't win, but I win. And then I win the whole thing. And I go home with that title belt. But I can't get some of the, my picks the first round. Like Ice Climbers, he says, because he's not going to pick Ice Climbers. All right. Bye. Love you too, Mom. All right. So, number seven is going to be, god damn this production company. Number seven is going to be, oh, the other half of CastPod Callum. So, both Team CastPod members are rolling the ha bottom half. And back to back, so that's... It's our channel. Why don't we rig this more? The number six seed is Carter. That's going to be an interesting choice because he may or may not have accidentally revealed some of the characters he was looking to draft in the uh, group chat. Who knows if he actually did, but we'll see how this wild card is able to make it. Number five is Logie Bear of the Logie Pierogies. That's right. We can name our teams, and Logan's the only one that has so far with Logie's pierogies. So, good on him for naming his team. I like that middle of the pack. The five and six spot are real good for Logan and Carter because they're going to have like a very even chance and they're not going to have to wait too, too long between picks, but they're going to also be like able to get their characters middle of the pack. The number four slot is Joseph Jenkins himself. The California Wonder Boy is going to have a pretty high seed in this tournament. Glad to hear it. Number three is Tom. That old, old man, that Bigfoot and Gumby love child is going to have quite a good time picking early, specifically picking earlier than Callum and Kenny Mac. He's going to love that part the most, but he's going to have a lot of waiting to do so people can steal his picks in between. Number two is, oh, look at that. It's Molly. Yeah, she's number two. <laughs> number two. So she's probably going to get her first pick, and we'll see if she can get her second pick. And then the last but certainly not least at that number one pick slot is Dan Dialex4, twitch.tv slash Dialex4. Great guy. He's going to have that early pick, but he's going to have a lot of waiting to do before his next pick. So hopefully he will be able to do well with that also these picks will be drafted live on twitch.tv slash bellyache pretty much right after this video it's gonna it's a pretty long video so we'll see how long this can go and also if you do not if i do not get a declared list of who you want and you're not at that draft you're gonna get that first available so if dan doesn't show up tonight and he doesn't text me his first pick is gonna be mario and so forth and it's going to go just down the line down the ways and he's everyone's gonna to have to deal with the consequences if they don't show up for the draft they don't message me i've made it clear i've talked about it multiple times in different multiple group chats and some people personally too looking at you danny thanks by the way so these are the teams these are the coaches these are the draft orders so dan is getting that first pick molly's getting number two tom is going to be that third slot he thinks hardly god we need that we need that editor back but no doesn't want to have to pay for more 
Joe batting cleanup. Logie Bear in the middle of the pack. Carter kind of in the back half of the middle of the pack. And then Team Caspod starting to bring up the real rear. Danny's at the number nine slot. And then President Kenny Mack is really, really bringing up the rear with that last slot. But he gets that double pick. So hopefully he'll be able to get at least one character he likes. All right. So now head on over to twitch.tv slash We'll probably be live there right about now. I will probably guess so. And we will be picking live. I think a couple of these guys will be joining me in the chat. Or at least in the texting format so we can pick who's getting what. And we will see who will win. The first round might be tonight. Might be tomorrow night. Who knows? I don't. We're going to play it by ear because time. And we will post all these pre-record, like all the live stream stuff onto the CastPod Games YouTube channel after they are done and then the following day because we're, that's a lot of work. All right. Head on over to twitch.tv slash I'll see you there.